Assalamualaikum and what's up guys This is Mr X and you guys are watching Berbalik ke tidak What say you Well this channel we will look at the best money you can buy figurines To be put on our display Ha, Today I am doing another action figure review But this is going to be a sort of like a slash plating time With all of the figures that we had previously from Hasbro um, This is uh, a tribute to the uh, soon release X-Men 97 So I have them lined up with the whole uh, Xavier School of Gifted Children And the Brotherhood of Mutants So it's going to be It's not going to be so serious I'm going to take You know I'm just going to play with every every one of them uh, Normally I'll be doing the four aspect But I think this time you know, I'm just going to put them here Straight together with all of the, the rest of the figures uh, and let you guys feel how how it is. Maybe you know it will help you guys decide whether to get this later when it's on shelf. Um, yeah. Now without wasting any time, let's have a look at them. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button so that I can grow this channel for myself, for you guys, and the community. Do give me a thumbs up if you like this video and find it helpful. All right. Hit the bell if you don't want to miss my future content and all of my videos. Thank you very much, guys. First of all, I am going to have a look at uh, Magneto, okay. Um, honestly, at first, I thought this was not going to be good. But after having a look at it, I like him. I like him very, very much. I like the cape. I like the head sculpt. You know, in the cartoon where there's some shade, some shadow... In his eyes, in his uh, helmet, yeah, it, it looks really, really nice. The face printing, the is really, really good as well, and the rest is just yeah, good. It's on the new Vulcan body. Uh, yeah, I, I can see uh, a lot of bad stuff about this guy. So let's try and put the fisted hand. So, this is what we get with Magneto. He only gets a fisted hand. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about this review. I'm just trying out something new. Uh, since almost all of the figure in the Jim Lee X-Men I have. So, I can do this. But maybe for the rest of the Marvel Legends, I cannot. Because I don't have everything. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm, so, this is how he looks like with the fisted hand. Mm. Oops. Okay, um, the articulation is standard. Okay. It's on the Vulcan body. So, yeah, but smooth. Mm, very nice. Okay, wow. You can go to the back very, very, a lot. Very much. The head can go to the front like this. Sorry, I'm not doing it in order, right? Like normal, but you, you know, you guys know. You know, can kick to the front like this, to the back, not so much. Wow, a very good split. Okay. Uh, tie, swivel. Double joint techniques. No swivel on the shin. The ankle can go down like this. Can go up. And then there's a rocker. So that is for Magneto. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about him. And I think this is going to be my go-to Magneto from now on. Wow, I like him. I like him very, very much. Okay, let's put him back at the back here and hope he doesn't fall down. <laughs> now, let's look into Storm. Okay, here is another figure that I did not expect to be good. Um, except that this time we don't actually get a white eye storm. She has a really good feature on her. Um, I I I like the mohawk. I have no idea how come. I, I know that there there's a, there's a time in the comic where she had a mohawk, but now I'm not so sure why. Maybe it's ninety seven. You know, I, I I'm not so sure. But overall, I think this is more or less the same of what we had before. The same body. Uh. A new pair of upper arms, perhaps, with this sculpt. Uh, no more cell shading. Oh, the legs. 
Okay, this is what I have to tell you guys. I'm so happy the legs are not gummy. I know we've had the retrocarded storm. And then we've had the dark, the black, black suit storm. And then we had the VHS storm. All of them had, you know, very gummy legs. And happy to say that this is not gummy at all. It's really good. It's really stable. Very easy to stand. You know, the previous one, the previous ones had had so much problem standing up so yeah kudos to hasbro for making a change so nothing much to show except for the head sculpt the rest mm, uh it's basically on the same body okay and next i'm gonna put rogue okay first thing that popped in my head was her face is a bit too cartoonish I'm not so sure about you guys, but you know, a lot of us grew up on drawings of Rogue being sexy, being you know more matured. But this one looks a bit young, a bit. Uh, I, I'm not so sure, a bit too happy. Perhaps you know, maybe we could have had this kind of head, you know, with a more serious look. But I don't know. Maybe this is how she is in the comic, in the new animated series. Um. This is on a new upper body, low new uh using the old oh no no sorry sorry this is also new yeah obviously this is new now this is all sculpted into her legs so all of this stuff won't fall down anymore we get a new jacket for her so yeah yeah sorry this is new yeah wait uh, give me a second I'm not so sure now. Let me give a, you guys a comparison of the figures that I have. So, this is side by side. <laughs> uh, I'm not feeling so well actually. You know, I, I have a bit of a flu. So, yeah. So, this is the retro carded one. And this is the recent one. So, you guys can see. Uh, no more the, the chest area. That, that That's a significant change. Um... I think they have different... No, it's the same. It's the same arm. Same arm. Same body. Or maybe this one is a bit better. Or is it because of the lighting? Um, yeah. New new set of legs for this one. Uh, everything is sculpted. The chest part is different. The color is different. So... Yeah, so this is rogue. Not bad, but still, I I feel better if she, we would have gotten you know rogue with a more serious face. Okay, now we're going to look at Gambit. Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to do this. Wait, hold on, give me a second. So she gets um a left hand um with the one. Taking off the gloves, so this is the hand. So we can create the scene where she always goes and steal people's power by touching them. So yeah, that's all we get for Rogue. Ah, sorry, I forgot about Storm as well. This is what we get for Storm. I'm sorry. Okay. Right, so next, let's look at Gambit. Uh, I like Gambit. Gambit's head is looking good. He has, you know, a uh, very nice comic accurate face. The hair, wow, the hair looks nice. Thank you for not giving us the old hair. <laughs> Uh, the color looks really really nice as well the jacket not so I think it should be more darker the jacket mm, let me know you guys how you guys feel about the jacket but it's really soft it's really pliable so it's not going to hinder any of the movements so let's look at some of the articulation you know, the hand can go to 60 right, it's a bit okay Okay, and it's like the normal body for 
for Gambit the crunch can go down like this can go back it looks really really seamless yeah good job Hasbro it looks really, really seamless there's a swivel at the waist the legs can kick like this very nice to the back not so much very good split so yeah I like this Gambit <laughs> I think you guys are going to hear me saying I like it, I like it, I like it basically because yeah, I think this is a good, good release for those who didn't manage to get the previous, previous uh, set of Jim Lee X-Men. You know, honestly guys, um, for those who are new, it's going to be really hard last time, it was really hard last time to get x-men figures and this is from this is for gambit as well uh we we've gotten this a couple of times this is from the three pack if i'm not mistaken uh three pack and we get his stuff bow stuff okay right so that's for gambit now let's look at bishop before we look at Wolverine this is also a good looking figure I like him the overall aesthetic the overall um, you know proportion he has that heroic proportion uh, though I don't understand why he has a very short hair the face printing on Bishop is just amazing he looks like he just popped out of the cartoon I like this seamless knee that they're doing here. Good effort. Good effort from the team. Uh, it's uh, on a new body, new figure. Everything is sculpted here. Very, very nice. So now let's look at... Uh, this is like glued to the back. So let's do a bit of... Uh, what do you call that? Articulation because since this is new. So you can go down. Look down like this. Look up. Left and right. The arms can go 360. This is a floating piece. Uh, yeah, float, yeah, it's glued here or on the pack. I mean, yeah, it's a glued. It's glued inside here. So it's sort of a floating piece but glued up here. You can move it 360 like this. You can go up. There's a bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow. A hinge. Hinge. Okay, this is his trigger finger. The abs can go to the front like this, not so much, to the back, very good, A swivel, this is glued to the uh, waist, very nice, can kick to the front like this, to the back, not so much, very good split, A swivel at the thigh, very smooth, double jointed knee, painless, A swivel at the shin, the ankle can go down like this, can go up like this and then there's a rocker so yeah this is good this is good as well hmm, wait let me adjust first so this is for bishop so for his accessories uh, before i forget he gets this gun okay uh that you can actually put put it at the back here he has a gun holster at the back. Very nice. Very good looking gun holster. Okay. And yeah, he has this another trigger finger for his right hand. Which the hinge is totally different. It's the up and down hinge. Okay, good one. Also for the... Oops, for the left hand. Okay. Oh, this is not his trigger finger. This looks like a trigger finger, but it's actually like this is a trigger finger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so this is for Bishop. Now, the one that I think everyone wants to have a look is Wolverine. Um, same Wolverine, different head sculpt, different paint, uh, same claw. Uh, different underwear what do you call this uh, it's like the crotch area different part for the legs uh, the blue is a bit different uh, I don't know the, this patch of what do you call this hair on his face it looks funny 
uh, there's no paint or what do you call that wash on this sculpted hair um, it's okay for me uh, if you had the VHS retro carded, you know, I just keep that one or you can also have this one But the win for this Wolverine is of the head I think the head looks very good, very identical to the cartoon So, yeah Nothing to show because this is the same, the same Wolverine And hence why I'm putting everyone in line together so This is how it goes with all of the figures so at least you guys can see will it fit with your old x-men yes it will uh the price i in malaysia it will be around 120 240 if you buy it from pulse it's a pulse exclusive but you can also get this retail on in stores mm, we just got them uh yesterday uh the rest of the figures, some of them it's hard to get. Some of them, you know, you can still get aftermarket. Uh, overall, this set is a really, sorry, this wave is a really good one for those who you know, are just starting to get X-Men figures in their collection. And I believe you guys should get it. Okay? So, nothing more to say. Uh, as always, if you guys are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button so that I can grow this channel for myself, for you guys and the community. Do hit the bell if you guys don't want to miss my future content. This time, I'm just going to do this plating thing. <laughs> Not a serious review. But yeah, it's still taking up a lot of your time. Uh, you know, do give me a thumbs up. Do comment. Do share if you guys have anything to say. Uh, this channel will look at the best money can buy figurines to be put on our display. And I say this X-Men Marvel Legends 97. Sorry. This Marvel Legend X-Men 97 is a good catch. So go get it if you guys have the chance. Okay. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Stay safe. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum.